Megyn Kelly did an interview with State Department spokeswoman Jen Psaki last night on the issue of Iraq, and it was the most over-the-top, smarmy badgering I've ever seen. Let's watch a piece of it. President Obama was so paltry and so under what this what the Pentagon was recommending what this what the State Department was recommending that it was a joke for Maliki he couldn't take the political risk of going back to his country and saying hey give him immunity they're gonna give us 5,000 troops when our Pentagon was saying mr. president you need to give them at least 24,000 the least option we have available to us is 10,000 but that is not wise and the president ultimately said we'll do five and Maliki said no deal how do you blame that on Maliki. Well, look, I, one, I think a number of people, including Secretary Panetta, have spoken to that exact question over the course of the last couple of years. Uh, he I don't has, and, making, and, it, and he's, it's not favorable to the president, what he's saying. Well, I would, we're not placing blame on anyone. What we're placing, we're, the facts are the facts here. The I, facts well, are that trying to get the Iraqi to those, government. And, and it's not about blame, it's about uh, accountability, because the president is very focused on what we do right now, about the problem in the Middle East, and that's good. But the question also has to be answered, how did we get here? And you know what people People say they think we got here because the president pulled all of those troops out of Iraq over the recommendations of the generals, over the recommendations of his Pentagon, his defense secretary, over the recommendations of Bob of Gates, and and instead of doing what everyone was telling him to do, he pulled us out of there because politically he wanted out of the Middle East. The president, when he was running for re-election, Jen, w went out there and had a debate with Mitt Romney, in which Mitt Romney said. I think you agree with me that we should have had a status of forces agreement that would have left these troops in Iraq. The president denied it. The president didn't say, you're right, I did want one, but Maliki and so on and so forth. Let me play the exchange for you. With regards to Iraq, you and I agreed, I believe, that there should have been a status of forces agreement. Did you Oh, you didn't, you didn't want a status of force? No, what I, what I would not have done is left 10,000 troops in Iraq that would tie us down, and that certainly would not help us in the Middle East. There it is. Mm, there it is. I got you. We clearly should have stayed in Iraq longer with more people. How the fuck... Do you get that out of the current situation? Oh, because there's violence on the ground in Iraq now, so clearly we need to go back in. Or no. No. See, that's the thing. They act like liberals pretended like, oh, when we pull out, everything is going to be hunky-dory in Iraq. We never said that. We never said that. We were well aware that things may go to shit. But you know what our response is? Oh, okay, that sucks. That's it. <laughs> It's fine. Okay, things are happening. Great. Well, that pl so Iraq is fucked up. So is North Korea. So is Somalia. So is Mali. So is Nigeria. So is, should I go on, Myanmar. The Congo right now has a religious war between Christians and Muslims. Northern Mali is Al-Qaedistan right now. There are so many places in the world that are fucked up. We never argued that it was going to be perfect when we left. We knew it was going to be shitty. But our point was, it's not our business. And... Look at what she's saying. Her argument is, see, Mitt Romney wanted to stay there. He was clearly right. No, no, we should have never gone in the first place. That's the point. That's the point. And by the way, the uh, spokeswoman there for the State Department pissed me off to no end. You can see the, the full interviews out there, and it, she is terrible at defending the, the position of non-interventionism and not getting involved and, ta and talking about Iraq. She, I mean, Megyn Kelly just beats up on her for 10 minutes straight, and Megyn Kelly arrogantly badgers and acts like, <laughs> clearly, President Obama was so wrong for not keeping 20,000 troops in Iraq. Now, notice, it, she repeats over and over, well, President Obama didn't listen to the Pentagon, didn't listen to his generals, didn't listen to the defense secretary, when they all said, we need to keep 24,000 troops in there, and at minimum 10,000, but he said, no, 5,000. How dare he do that? And then she said, Everybody, everybody said we need to keep more troops in there. And even Mitt Romney. Oh, how wrong Obama was. Who did she not mention? The American people! The only people that should fucking matter in this discussion. And we all said, let's get the fuck out of there. But she acts like, no, we should only listen to the Pentagon and the generals and the defense secretary and people. You want to know why those guys always... Uh, 
say, let's have more troops? It's their fucking job! Read a little history! Go back, look at Vietnam! Do you know what happened in Vietnam? Under... Uh, JFK, who now liberals view as, oh, the progressive lion, he increased Vietnam his entire time in office. Mission creep, all the way, uh, troop levels increasing. Yeah, big progressive hero on foreign policy, right? Increased Vietnam. And then Lyndon Johnson got in office. Now, Lyndon Johnson, it, this is a fascinating case because Lyndon Johnson was actually pretty good domestically. Lyndon Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act. He did um, uh, the war on poverty. So he was very good in many respects, very liberal in many respects. But he also continued to increase in Vietnam continued to send more and more troops there. Why did he do it? You ready for this? I hope you're sitting down. Because the Pentagon told him to do it, and his generals told him to do it. And he listened to them, and it got us in more fucking trouble. And now everybody today looks back at Vietnam, and they go, yeah, we probably should have never went in there in the first place. But on Fox News, Megyn Kelly's like, oh, yeah, now that there's problems in Iraq, what that proves to me is that we should have stayed in there longer. So how long do you want to stay there for? 10 years? 20 years? 100 years? You want to permanently stay there? But we don't want to do that. The American people don't want to do that. We're not supposed to be like old school Britain where we set up shop in India or someplace and go, all right, guys, move the fuck over. We're here now permanently. Shut the fuck up. We're imperial powers. What are you going to do? Are you going to kick us out or something like that? We don't want to do that, Megyn Kelly. And again... The bottom line is, whenever we leave Iraq, there's going to be some problems. The Sunnis and Shiites are going to fight, the Kurds are going to fight, I mean, things are going to happen. Negative things are going to happen. But it's not our business to be involved over there and to police this stuff, because when we do that, we breed more hatred against the United States of America. And we make more people join radical groups, a fact that she totally overlooks as she's needlessly and uselessly badgering uh, this poor woman as she makes absolutely no sense, but she thinks she's nailing it.